Number three. Hi, Warren. I'm Doug Hicks from Akron, Ohio. And uh, you hear on the news lately, a lot of people say that oil will run out during this century. Considering the U.S. policy is to do nothing until the very last second, how do you think the end of oil will play out? For example, do you think that this would unfortunately result in World War III, or do you think alternative energy will be available the day that oil runs out to take its place, and maybe do you think these oil companies' value will go to zero when oil runs out? Yeah, oil, oil won't run out. It doesn't work that way. What oil will do at some point, who knows when, people have predicted a lot of everything. So oil at some point, uh, daily productive capacity throughout the world will first level off and then start declining very gradually. The, the nature of oil extraction is such that, that uh, wells don't, with rare exceptions, they don't go to a given point producing 100 barrels a day and then all of a sudden quit or anything like that. So you run, in, you run into this depletion aspect and get into decline curves and that sort of thing. So we won't, we're producing in the world 86 or 87 million barrels a day of oil, which is more than we've ever produced before. We are closer by at least my calculations, we are very much closer uh, to producing almost as much as our productive ability is in the world with fields in their current stage of development than we've ever been. I mean, our, our, our surplus capacity, I think, is less than, well, any time I can remember, and it's quite a bit less than most periods. So we don't have the ability to crank up in any short period of time the 86 or 7 to 100 million barrels a day. But whatever that peak will be, and whether we've hit it five years from now or 50 years from now, then it will just gradually taper down, and the world will adjust to it, and hopefully we'll be thinking about it you know, well before it happens, and various adjustments will be made in the world that will cause the demand to somewhat taper down as the available supply. But we will be producing oil. Uh, far beyond this century. It's just a, the question is whether we're producing 50 million barrels a day or 75 million or 25 million barrels a day. I don't know the answer to that. There's a lot of oil in place in the world. We've, we've messed up the recovery of a lot of the oil. I mean, we never recovered the, you know, the total potential of, 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 of fields. And, uh, and some fields we've misengineered in ways so that we'll recover a very small percentage. Now, maybe there'll be better engineering tertiary recovery and that sort of thing in the future. It's not, it's not a, it's, it's nothing like a, 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 uh, an on and off switch though in terms of the world producing oil or adjusting to reduced capacity or anything like that. Uh, you, you may still have enormous political considerations to uh, access to the available oil because it's going to be so darn important to our society for so long. There's nothing we can do in any short period of time that will wean the world off, off of oil. And, uh, you know, that is a fact of life. Charlie? Well, if we get another 200 years of economic growth pretty well dispersed over the world, while the population of the world also goes up, all of the oil, coal, natural gas, and uranium reserves of the world are, are like nothing. So eventually, of course, you have to use the sun. There is no other alternative. And I think we can confidently predict that there'll be some pain in this process of adjusting to a different world. Personally, I think it's extremely stupid to use up the hydrocarbon reserves of the world as fast as we are. I don't think we've got any good substitutes for those things as chemical feedstocks. And I think it's perfectly crazy to, to use up something so precious 
for which you have no alternative uh, that's sure to be available. And if you look at it backwards, what should we have done? Hell, we should have bought all the oil in the 30s in the Middle East and taken it over here by tankers and put it in our own ground. I mean, it's, it's obvious to see what should have been done in the past. Even though that's obvious, are we doing the equivalent of that now? And the answer is basically no. Uh, so I think the governmental policy tends to be way behind in terms of rationality. And uh, I think we'll just have to soldier through. But eventually, the, if we're going to have a prosperous civilization, we have no other alternative than the sun. What's your over-under figure for 25 years from now, world production, oil per, uh, per day? Uh, down. Down. That, that's not an insignificant per prediction. I mean, it, believe me, if, if, if oil production is down 25 years from now, uh, it'll, be, it'll be a different world. I mean, you, uh, China's going to sell over 10 million cars this year. I mean, the demand is going to keep, even at these prices, it's hard for me to imagine demand falling off a lot. Uh, so if production falls off, you will, you'll have some interesting consequences.